Hello and welcome to Synthetic Oil Info, your source for information about synthetic oil and why you should be using it in your automobiles and all of your equipment. Today I wanted to spend some time talking about one of the problem areas that people are starting to experience uh, with modern technology vehicles. And the first area I want to talk about is uh, turbocharged vehicles and more specifically turbocharged gas direct injected engines. Uh, that's a mouthful. Uh, but there is a great article in the January 2013 of Lubes and Greases magazine written by Keith Howard uh, called Small, Hot, and Stressed Turbocharged Direct Injection is Engine Oil's Next Big Hurdle. Uh, and what Mr. Howard goes on to describe here is what's going on with these small turbocharged gas direct injected engines which the uh, automakers have been bringing to market for several years now, since about the mid-2000s. Uh, they're going to smaller engines uh, with a turbocharger to keep the power up, uh, but they're also incorporating direct injection, which moves the fuel injector out of the intake port and directly into the combustion chamber, uh, usually like right next to the spark plug. So now you have, uh, in many cases, a four valve engine, two intake, two exhaust valves, a spark plug, and a fuel injector all uh, operating inside the combustion chamber of these engines. Um, and while this provides for a very efficient, uh, very clean burning engine, uh, because now they can control the amount of fuel that's going into these engines which m with much more precision than they ever could before when that fuel injector was sitting out in the intake port or even go back further when we had throttle body fuel injection or uh, back to carburetors. Uh, these direct injected engines are much more efficient and they're much easier to control from a fuel perspective and an emission perspective. Uh, but they are creating some problems that are leading to increased workload on the engine lubricating oil. Uh, especially those engines that are equipped with a turbocharger. Uh, what happens is that these small engines run hotter uh, because also what's happening is that the manufacturers are putting in a hotter thermostat so that these engines, uh, the, the coolant in these engines actually runs a few degrees hotter than they have in the past. So we're seeing many of these engines running up in the 210 to 212 degrees Fahrenheit for their normal operating temperature um, and that's just where the thermostat opens and so the engine could actually run hotter than that if it's under a, a heavy workload. So you got a small engine that's being turbocharged so just right there the turbocharger is pushing more air into that engine which creates more heat because along with that more air they're putting in more fuel so you've got a larger explosion taking place in a smaller engine. Um, and now the other thing that happens is the turbocharger has to be lubricated, uh, the bearings in, on the shaft of that turbocharger, because this turbocharger is spinning at the shaft in there. Those blades are spinning at you know, tens of thousands of RPM when you're under full boost, such as you know, you're passing somebody or you're climbing a steep hill and that turbocharger is making maximum boost for that vehicle, that turbocharger is spinning at an incredibly high speed. And the bearings on the shaft of that turbocharger are being lubricated by your engine oil. And so the temperature of the area where that uh, oil has to flow through can easily get up into the 350 degree Fahrenheit range uh, now, the, that area of the turbocharger will stay at that temperature for most of its operation, uh, but the oil, because it's circulating through there, is only exposed to that temperature for a very short period of time. However, what happens, though, is that if you're running a, a lower quality oil, um, you know, a conventional oil, because the other thing that's happening with these small engines is that in order to get maximum fuel economy out of them, most of them are also calling for a 5W20 or a 0W20 engine lubricating oil. And if you're running a conventional oil, uh, especially like a 5W20 conventional oil, which your owner's manual may perfectly well call for, uh, 
when that engine oil, that 5W20 conventional oil, enters the area of the turbocharger where the temperature is 350 degrees Fahrenheit, it immediately cooks that oil uh, and it starts to break that oil down. And so as you run that oil longer and longer, because these cars are also equipped with oil life monitoring systems uh, that attempt to extend the drain interval out uh, in many cases eight, nine, ten thousand miles uh, and some of the European cars maybe even farther. Um, you know, so as you can see we start to get hotter engines, lighter oils, more, more horsepower, more heat, uh, and you, you incorporate in uh, exhaust gas recirculation, EGR, because uh, these engines uh, have to run EGR in order to reduce their pollution levels. Uh, all of these things create a perfect bad storm for the lubricating oil that's in that engine. And so the one thing that owners can do uh, that will really help extend the life of these engines is to run the absolute highest quality engine lubricating oil that they can get into it. Uh, and AMS Oil's Signature Series is the very best oil for these engines. It is a Group 4 PAO base stock based oil and it will resist that cooking that takes place in the turbocharger bearing area. Uh, and it also re resists the oxidation uh, that takes place inside these hotter running engines. Uh, and so if you're uh, using uh, or if your new vehicle uh, or your now even a few year old vehicle uh, is incorporating many of these different technologies such as turbocharging, direct injection, and we haven't even mentioned variable valve timing uh, because a lot of these engines also incorporate that technology as well uh, and that variable valve timing actuator is oil, in many most cases uh, is oil controlled uh, meaning that as the engine RPM goes up the oil pressure goes up and as the oil pressure goes up it advances the timing of the camshaft to give you more power at higher RPMs um, and so it acts as, as if your engine has multiple camshafts uh, one for low RPM, one for mid-range RPM and one for high RPM. All of these things have made these engines run incredibly well but all of these technologies are relying on oil, uh, the lubricating oil that is in that engine and you have to run the very best oil you can uh, or you're going to experience problems with all of these areas that are oil controlled or oil lubricated. Um, so I encourage you again uh, run the best oil you can in these engines. Uh, it, that engine is a several thousand dollar, in many cases ten thousand dollar or more investment that's in your vehicle. Uh, and the one thing that you can do on a routine basis is put in the best oil you can. And the Signature Series from Amsoil is the best that they sell. Uh, the XL oil is also an excellent oil. It is a Group 3 hydrocracked base oil, uh, but it does a very good job of lubricating uh, and resisting that oxidation and uh, sludge formation as well. It just is not as robust as the Signature Series, um, and it's not intended to run as long. The drain interval on the XL oil is 10,000 miles or once a year. Um, and so, but if you're running one of these vehicles that has a lot of this technology incorporated into your engine, do the smart thing, run the very best oil you can, uh, and I highly recommend the AMSOIL Signature Series uh, at the respective grade for your vehicle, especially the 0W20 and 5W20, if that's what your vehicle is calling for. Um, and protect that engine as, as much as you possibly can. Um, please feel free to submit any questions or comments below. Uh, and as always, if you're wanting to purchase AMSOIL products, uh, you can go right here to the link on uh, our YouTube channel, uh, MinutemanPerformance.com. It'll take you right to the Amsoil webpage, uh, or just go to Minuteman Performance. It'll link you right to the Amsoil webpage, uh, and you can order from there. Uh, please consider if you're going to spend more than $100 in a year on your Amsoil products, uh, you may want to consider becoming a preferred customer. 
and they'll ship the product straight to your house at wholesale prices and you can change it yourself or take it to your favorite mechanic or oil change place and they'll do it for you um, and if you're interested in becoming an AMSOIL dealer and starting your own business uh, you can do that as well right there from the AMSOIL website or you can contact me right here through this uh, YouTube channel uh, we also have a Facebook page uh, synthetic oil info uh, so look us up there and like us and uh, follow us on there as well my name is Tom Brown uh, signing out here today for Synthetic Oil Info. Uh, thanks for your time and have a great day.